Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're going to take a look at the largest member of the Glyptodon family, the Dedicurus. Glyptodons are an extinct subfamily of heavily armoured mammals and relatives of the modern armadillo. They first appeared in the Miocene Epoch in South America around 18 million years ago. The Dedicurus itself lived more recently during the Pleistocene Epoch, more commonly known as the Last Ice Age, which lasted from about 2.58 million years ago and up until around 11,000 years ago. The Dedicurus was heavily armoured with large domed carapace that was made of many tightly fitted scutes. It stood about 1.5 metres tall with a length of around 4 metres. It was the size of a small car and could weigh over 2,000 kilograms. Its shell was strongly fixed around the pelvis, with the shoulders having a bit more mobility. However, it could not withdraw its head into its shell and would probably not have been able to roll into a ball like they do here in Ark. There was a larger hump on the Dedicurus's back, which has been interpreted as a fat reserve similar to a camel's hump. The name Dedicurus means pestle tail and refers to how the club tail looks like a pestle from a pestle and mortar. Although unlike a pestle, the Dedicurus's tail club is covered in spikes. It seems as though the tail would be more likely used for fights between males battling over a female and not for fighting off predators like the saber-toothed cat and terror birds. Because the Dedicurus body was so large, it uh, wouldn't have been able to see predators attacking from behind and would have to blindly thrash its tail around as not very effective. Possibly a herd all lined up swinging their tails together could create an effective living defensive wall. But examinations of the fossil carapaces have shown fractures of the same size and are caused by the same amount of energy as if it was hit by the tail of another Dedicurus. It's likely two fighting individuals would have stood side by side, head to tail, and hit each other in a body. Recently, scientists were able to extract fragments of DNA from the fossilised carapace of a 12,000-year-old Dedicurus discovered in South America. The scientists were trying to find its precise position in the family tree of armadillos. The research confirmed that the Dedicurus's closest living relative is the pink fairy armadillo, a small armadillo that only measures a few inches and likes to dig around in the ground. The Dedicurus and other glyptodonts became extinct at the end of the last ice age along with a large number of other megafaunal species. A much smaller, more lightly armoured and flexible armadillo relative survived. The extinction of the glyptodonts coincided with the arrival of early humans in the Americas. And evidence suggests that these humans made use of the animal's armoured shells. The extinction was probably caused by changing climatic conditions and human hunting may have been a contributing factor. Well, that's it for today, and I hope you've enjoyed the talk and you've learned something new. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below, and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video, and please come back next time for more talks here at Shredder Zoo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.